guarantees are third party claims to those assets. And then the equity represents the owner's claim to those assets. You can also do it this way. You can reformulate that equation by saying assets minus liabilities equals equity, right? And that means it's like the book value of the company. So that means if you liquidated the company, sold all your assets, paid off your liabilities, in theory, you would be left with, as the owner, $89,120.34. However, it's not exact because all of the stuff you have up top isn't cash. So you'd have to sell everything and get the exact amount for these in order to liquidate the company, which isn't a sure thing you know, to happen. But that's the, that's the general idea. Now, when you go into the different concepts of equity, equ equity represents ownership. If it's a sole proprietorship, then you only have one owner. So it gets kind of easy. So then you just got the, the retained earnings might better be called owner's equity. And then as the company generates revenue, the owner's equity is going to be increasing, right? Because we're generating revenue, increasing our assets, and then equity, you could pull those assets out from the equity side. And then when you do pull the equity out, we call that draws from a sole proprietorship. So that's us taking money out of the business. And then when you put money into the business, which usually only happens at the beginning of the business or when you're expanding the business, we can call that an owner investment. And then we also have this current year earnings, which represents the bottom line of the income statement that, that is going to roll into retained earnings. In other words, if I changed the date range one day up, this number would roll into retained earnings. Now, if you were a partnership, then you'd have to do this whole thing for each partner, which gets messy in accordance to the partnership agreement, right? So now you're going to have a you now you'd have a different uh, capital account for each partner, different draws for each partner, and possibly a different owner investment account for each partner, so that you'll now have to track equity as though the, the business is a separate entity and you're trying to track how much of the value that's allocated to the owners is allocated to each owner according to the to the to the partnership agreement. That gets difficult in, in Zero as well as any other QuickBooks online, any accounting software too, because that means that you gotta break out the current year earnings to the to the multiple uh, partnership accounts. And it kind of messes things up that they use this current year earnings account because uh, because you want to break this out into because this isn't an actual account. This is zero trying to show, hey, look, the income statement is part of the balance sheet. But it gets a little messy when you're trying to allocate that out between different uh, different partners. If you're a corporation, then then now you have the owners are represented by equal shares of stock, right? That was the beauty of the corporation and why corporations are actually easier in a lot of ways to do the books for than a partnership because in a corporation, you're just gonna call it retained earnings. That's the earnings that are allocated to the owner of the corporation. The, div the who, who has claim to those earnings? Well, it's divvied up evenly in shares and we have more people, if you have